Hello, it's Paul at Rove Motor Homes in Mansfield. Today I'll be doing a walk around video of our Auto Trail Cheyenne 634 SE. Now this is a 2004 model with 53,000 miles just over. It is a 2.8 Fiat chassis, weighs in at 3,400 kilogram, so it can be driven on a standard license. It's just under six and a half meters in length and 2.3 in width, and it's a two berth, four belt, two belt, four berth. I'm going to walk around the outside of the vehicle now, pointing out its features and anything of note we need to let you know about, and then we'll do the same on the inside. So as we go around the front. Where the cab would normally go, it's, it's done okay. There is a small dent on the bodywork there. But all in all, the paint works fine. Around this side, we have your external shower point, your toilet cassette, and your hookup, and then your gas storage and your boiler cover. As we look around this side, one thing of note is this window. We can't get them anymore. So there's a crack on the inside pane of this window here, but it doesn't uh, affect uh, the integrity. There's no water coming in. And there's a crack up there as well. We can, what we're going to do is smooth this corner off when we finish the prepping the vehicle. And there's a bit of paint work there as well, which we'll see if we can do anything with it. We'll be able to improve it. As we get to the back, I'm hoping you can see it. The bubbly effect. It's quite common for it to go in this, these places on an auto trail of its age. We've got a bike rack on the back of the vehicle. As you can see again, the bubble effect, it is pretty much against this back wall. As we go around this side, we've got your water inlet, your some storage under the U-shaped lounge, an external barbecue. There is an awning along the top. You've got your grab handle, electric step, and there's some more storage there. All in all, with the exception of the bits I've pointed out, the body workers survived quite well. As we go inside the vehicle, there's a fly screen on there. Just wipe my feet, excuse me. So looking at the front of the vehicle then, the upholstery in the cab area. The driver's seat is actually better than the uh, passenger seat on this one. There is a bit of wear there. You can obviously see where they've been getting in and out to go into the habitation area. And going on the dashboard. So we've got an aftermarket stereo. It's a five-speed manual gearbox. And you've got electric windows and electrically adjustable mirrors there for you. As I step back, you've got an overcab here. I'm hoping that the camera does it justice. It's quite a big space with the bulbous roof at the front. I've done a photo file with this out because this does slide out if I can do it one-handed. And then with the ladder down. As I spin round, I give you a front to the back of the vehicle. And then a back to front. And while I'm at this end, so we've got a nice U-shaped lounge. One thing I say about this one is because it is 6.4 meters, a lot of vehicles this light are around six. You have got a lot of space. So I've done an extended photo file of this with the fold away table and also made up as a large double. I'm five foot ten, and with the cushions off, I could just about make this a single if wanted to. So depending on how tall you are, you could use it as two singles if you wanted to. But if not, it makes a very large double bed. And when you're chilling in the in the evening, you've got nice panoramic views. And then as we go to the middle of the vehicle, we've got your heating supplied by gas and electric on this fireplace here. And your water is gas and electric as well. You've got your 240 hookup and your 12, no, sorry, your 12 volt and your three pin plug for your television. Your oven, three gas burners and one electric hob and then a oven and grill. Room for a microwave in there. And obviously somewhere to keep your wine bottles. As you spin round, you've got your wash basin and drainer, and then a three way fridge with a large freezer compartment at the top. Around the top of the vehicle, lots and lots of storage space. Both of these cupboards open at the top and the bottom, and they go all the way around the vehicle. So the woodwork is really clean and tidy. So is the upholstery in the habitation area. As we move forward, 
you've got your control panel up here and your heating controller and then large wardrobe spinning around trying to avoid being shot as best I can we've got your bathroom so we've got your toilet cassette your wash basin your mixer tap which doubles up as a shower as well and because of the angle of the mirror I can avoid being in shot and there we have it thank you very much for watching if you've got any follow-on questions you can give myself or Brian a call at Wave Motorhomes in Mansfield on 01623 63 thank you